Hi guys, everything tech pro here. You know, it's been a while since I uploaded a video, nothing much to talk, and now I have a lot of things to talk and more new videos coming up in a row. So let's get to the topic. So today in this video, I'm gonna be speed testing the uh, Mac OS Sierra Public Beta 2 and the Mac OS Sierra Public Beta 3. So if you remember in my previous video, I made a speed test in Nonoa Bench and the Disk Benchmark test, and people, you know complaining that uh, these are basic benchmark and I should use Geekbench. So I was not able to use Geekbench because it's not a free app and I don't have a credit card and I'm not earning so it would be bad to ask my parents to buy me this for my YouTube channel. And thanks, thanks, thanks to the fellow YouTuber who gave me the link and now I have downloaded the Geekbench you could see right here. So uh, this is the full version and I'm really, really thankful to him and now I'm ready to go and we are going to do, be doing it in three different things Geekbench, Noah Bench, and as well as the Hard Disk Benchmark Test. All three of them for the public beta 2 and 3. So, so before we start, let's see uh, the version. You can see Mac OS Sierra public beta, and this is the version, the beta 3, or you could say public beta 3. And after this, I'll be switching the systems to the other system, same specifications, uh, uh, Mac OS Sierra public beta 2, and then we'll be doing it. So, first, let's See that there is nothing running except for quick time player. And let's go to Geekbench. Launch the Geekbench. So now you can see the system information. MacBook Air, mid 2012, 13 inch, Intel Core i5 at 1.80 gigahertz and 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's a uh, DDR3 RAM. And now we're gonna do for 64 bit and launch the benchmark system. So it's gonna take time and yeah, it's, it's a definitely a, a time-taking process. So once this test is over, I'll be coming back and I'll show the results of this benchmark. So stay tuned, guys. So guys, back with the benchmark test, and these are the results. So I got a single speed, a single core score of 2546, and a multi score core score of 5266. So these are the compilation of the score. The integer score being 2418 and the multi score for integer is 5646. Floating point 2619, multi core 6025, memory 2657, and uh, multi core 2989. And now uh, these are uh, in depth scores, what it is showing the JPEG compression, all these scores right here. So this is for the multi core and this is for the memory. So for memory, 2657 and 2989 and for the floating point single score is 2619 and multi core is 6025 and integer is 2418 and multi core is 5646 and the final score of basically 2546 and 5266 so this is it for the geekbench test now we're going to move on to the noah benchmark and the other Black Magic and Nova. As usual, we're going to be doing this, both the speed tests simultaneously or one by one. And we'll move it Geekbench now. Just and let's give it give a start test and let's give it a continue. And <clears throat> it's it's going to start again. I'm going to be testing both of them and. After this is finished, I'll be back with both the scores and we're gonna summarize all the scores for uh, the Mac OS Sierra Public Beta 3. So stay tuned for it, guys. So, guys, back with the complete speed test results. Even the Geekbench test is there for uh, the uh, comparison with the NOAA benchmark test. So, the NOAA benchmark test gave me a score of 560, the RAM score of 127, CPU score of 355. Graphic score of 71 and hardware test score gave me 47. And as usual, you could see the X's which were still there in the Mac OS Sierra Public Beta 2. I don't know why or what is the reason of these X's, but the final write speed is 404.4 megabytes per second, and the final write speed is 447.2 megabytes per second. So, uh, and already existing the uh, uh, single core score of 2546 and the multi core score of 5266 uh, the Geekbench gave me this test and 
integer score, floating point score, and memory score. So I'll be back with the other Mac results after I do it. And so let's do the test in that and let's see what is the uh, final comparison between both of them. So guys, same, changed my system now. And then we have the Geekbench installed right here. And we will be uh, launching the Noah Bench and the Black Magic as well right here. And the Noah Bench. So both of them, all three of them are ready to go. So I'll give it a start from all three of them. And here it goes, here it goes. Okay. So so guys, I'll be back after the test is over. And to just inform you, I just checked my sources. I still have the pics of the macOS Sierra public beta one. What was the score? And so we'll be just seeing through the pics what has evolved from the macOS Sierra public beta one to two to three and this test is not yet complete, so after it is completed, I will be back with the scores. So stay tuned. So guys, back after the results of the uh, uh, NOAA bench, and as I told previously, I still have the uh, Sierra Public Beta 1 NOAA bench score. After this, I'll be doing the Geek Bench, and then finally coming back to the Blackmagic uh, disk write speed. So in the uh, NOAA bench, you could see this is the uh, Sierra Public Beta 3, this guy is public beta 2, so let's rearrange this guy. So this is the evolution of the uh, benchmark test. First it gave me a score of 518 in the macOS Sierra public beta 1, and now in the macOS Sierra public beta 2, so uh, it gave a score of 530 as you were familiar. And now currently in the macOS Sierra public beta 3, we are having the score of 560. So study progression 518, 530, and then 560. Here you can see a change of about 30, and here from about you know uh, about 12 changes there. So, but from the public beta two to three, it's 30 scores ahead. So that's a good way in which Apple is going. So this is great. Now, comparison of the uh, uh, Noah Bench benchmark test. So let's close all these guys. So, so guys, I'll be back with the uh, Geekbench results. Comparison between the uh, public beta 2 and 3. Sorry, I don't have the Geekbench score for the public beta 1 because I don't have any system which is running the public beta 1 because that was so buggy. So I updated all my systems to Mac OS Sierra public beta 2 and now I'm having public beta 3 currently in this system which I'm recording right now. So I'll be back with the Geekbench scores. So, guys, back with the Geekbench test between the Mac OS Sierra public beta 2 and Mac OS Sierra public beta 3. The one on the left is the Mac OS Sierra public beta 2. I renamed it as Sierra PB2, and the guy on the right is the Mac OS Sierra Public Beta 3, renamed it as Sierra PB3. So you can see uh, quite a jump of score from the Sierra Public Beta 2 to the Sierra Public Beta 3. You could see a score of 2153 uh, in the Public Beta 2 for the single core score, and when it came to Sierra Public Beta 3, the single core score jumped from 2153 to 2546. Quite a jump. And then multi core score of 42.43 in the Sierra Public Beta 1, and here 52.66, about 1000 jump in the multi score, and the single core, as usual, about 400, or I would say roughly 400 jump. So that's great, you know. Apple is going in the right direction, it is Apple is optimizing its maths and its performance. I could see great changes from beta 2 to beta 3, and some issues being fixed. So that you will hardly notice that, but anyway, if you want, I'll make a video for that too. But con concentrating here, comparing this course, integer score, great jump right here, and about uh, 600 or 500, I would say, score uh, for the single core. Multi core also about 1000 jump, so that's great. So these scores are from Geekbench, and I hope you'll enjoy it. So just be back with the uh, black magic comparison between all three uh, betas of the macOS Sierra. So I'll be back, stay tuned. So guys, back with the Blackmagic uh, hard disk benchmark, I'll just quickly arrange, or I would say rearrange. So as you can see, public beta one, public beta two, public beta three, all three uh, public beta scores are right here. So I know it's really difficult for you guys to read uh, what's written, the, what's the right read speed and the read speed, but I'll read it out for you, you know, because I don't have much of a space in the desktop. So, the macOS Sierra Public Beta 1 
gave a score of 391 megabytes per second and 441, 446.1 megabytes per second. Uh, that was the macOS Sierra Public Beta 1 score. Then in the Public Beta score 2, it gave a score of 430.9 and 446.6. So that's the macOS Sierra Public Beta 2 uh, uh, read speed and write speed. The macOS Sierra Public Beta 3 gave a score of 420.6 as write speed and 446.2 as a read speed. Comparing the write speed, <coughs> the Sierra Public Beta 1 is 391. So you're probably better 2 is 413.9 and 3 is 420.6. So there is a gradual progress in the write speeds of the disk from the public beta 1 to 3. The read speed, in the first one it was 446.1, the second one 446.6, and the third one 446.2. I don't know why there is a slight dip in this course, but anyway, that is okay. That's not much of a concern because it's not a bigger jump comparing the scores so that's it guys finally I finished three benchmarks test for uh, the macOS Sierra Public Beta 2 and 1 sorry uh, 2 and 3 and for one I didn't have the Geekbench uh, I could not perform a Geekbench score because uh, I don't uh, have any system which is running the Sierra Public Beta 1 and it was so so buggy and now it's quite stable so if anybody didn't upgrade or is waiting for upgrading to Public Beta 3 this is the right chance Get your gear, get your map, and get to the map of Sierra Public Beta 3. A lot of new features. Good thing is Siri is there for you now to assist you. So, that's the verdict. Go and get yourself a Mac and update it to Mac OS Sierra Public Beta 3. So, that's it guys for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe to this channel to uh, see more such videos. That's it guys for today. I'll see you up in the next video. Until next time, it's peace out.